Hey everybody, my name is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate here at Dremio. And today I'd like to show you just like some queries that you can run to find deeper information about your iceberg tables. Okay, so just to kind of demonstrate, I have an iceberg table here in my Arctic catalog. Could easily be in your AWS Glue or S3 catalogs. Okay, but in this database folder in the catalog, I have a table called names. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my SQL editor. And basically, I already have a script ready to go um, for this or query metadata. And again, notice I just type in names, so I didn't have to type in arctic.database.names. And the reason I can do that is I can set the context over here. I just say, hey, I want to target. I want the context to be the database folder in my Arctic catalog. So that way, I can just type in names. Okay. Again, these little nice uh, ease of life features here in the Dremio UI. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this to keep that on my clipboard. But first, let's show you the describe names query or describe table. And this is basically going to show you details about the different columns in the table. So you can see here, I can see the three different columns, information about them. Wonderful. The second one we're going to talk about, okay, is this, which is, which is table snapshot, which is going to give you a list of uh, table snapshots. So we hit run and data about those snapshots. Okay, so I can see here. Um, there's three snapshots in this iceberg table. And that's important because any valid snapshot are going to be valid snapshots that I could time travel to. So this is going to be the different points in time that I can actually query this table uh, in its history as it's evolved. So that's pretty cool. Then I can also take a look at the history of the table. So let's take a look at that. Okay, and then here I'll just see some data about the history, sort of like what's the current snapshots ID, what is it the ant, what's the parent snapshot, these kind of little bits of data, and then the last one I want to look at is uh, this table manifest one, which is going to give me a list of like table manifest. So these are manifest files that actually list the files in the current snapshot. Okay, so then I hit I can run that. And there I get the details like where is the file located? So where's that manifest file located? What partition spec was it applied to it? All these kind of details, if you need to look at them, they're available to you. So basically the idea is that you don't need to go with these switching tools. You don't have to head over the Spark to get deeper into the guts of your iceberg tables. You can kind of really do everything right from Dremio. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, it's pretty easy to go sign up a Dremio, connect a few sources, and you're ready off to the races converting your data into iceberg or using your data where it is and taking advantage of a lot of the performance benefits, ease of life features, and also security features and data access features that are all part of Dremio that make Dremio this really awesome data access layer for your data lake, making your life easier for you to work with the data the way you want to work with your data. So I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy.